just take a minute to get myself on the camera. Woo! Yeah. Oh, hi. I'm Petra Fried, and welcome to Petra Fried Tries, where me, Petra Fried, an idiot drag queen and sturdy lady, tries the recipes of my very favorite celebrity chefs. If this bimbo can do it, so can you. How easy am I? Use really good Petra. If you don't have good quality, store-bought is just fine. That's right, my friends. Today, we will be trying a recipe from the celebrity chef who truly taught me how to cook. The one, the only, Ida Garten. How bad could that be? I'm feeling a little bulbous in, in the head. Petrified like the state of my hair. So today, I thought we would try Ina Garten's chicken with 40 cloves of garlic because I never intend to kiss anybody else ever again. Because I intend to smell like garlic for three days. Because I'm really trying to work on my antioxidant intake. I'm such a stupid idiot. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey! What's that? Jeffrey's locked in the basement. I have so much glue on my eyebrow I can't actually wink. Okay, let's get started. So the first ingredient Ina Garden has on this recipe list is two three and a half pound chickens cut into eight pieces. Now, I uh, could not for my life find chickens that were already cut into eight pieces. So I have chopped a chicken many times in my life. However, it's always been after it's roasted or cooked. I have never until today made a chicken one whole piece into eight separate pieces. So, we're all going to learn this together, and I thought I'd do one with you. Now, I did one of these earlier today. Oh, hello. Let's see if I can do this and not totally f*** up. I respect you, and I love you. Thank you for feeding me. Ah! Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take off the leg and the thigh. So we're gonna cut right at the skin between the breast and the leg. And we should be able to pop the chicken and find the bone. Perfect. And then from there, we can just cut right down where that bone was. Hey, look, we got a piece off. Hey, look, we did it. Let's keep going. The power, the power. Next, we wanna get these little weenies off. I'm gonna turn it over and right in the joint there. I cut it right where the bone is. Should go right through. Ah oh. Beautiful, a little drummy and a wing. Ah. We're learning here. Ta-da. Okay, that one got a little more butchered. I'm an amateur, at least on this platform. The next step we're gonna do is actually remove this uh, backbone. And we're gonna save that backbone for some stock because as Ina Garten says, homemade chicken stock is the best. Snip, snip, snip. Okay, and you just cut it right out. See how easy that comes out? Beautiful. I'm just gonna set that aside. Huh. I am sweating. And then to separate the breasts, see this? This is gonna be the breastbone, and we're just gonna cut right through it with the knife. A little just the tip for you. Just the tip. There's no more dangerous tool in a kitchen than a dull knife. Make sure they're sharpened, or this can get really dangerous, especially with something that's really slippery like a chicken. Just gonna cut right through the breastbone. Beautiful. And I'm actually gonna use my scissors to slice through that skin. And then, just because these chicken breasts are so much bigger than the rest of the slices, I'm gonna cut them in half as well. Slip and slide, slip and slide. These are almost better than the knife, to be honest. I don't know if that's correct. Sorry, girl. If you're a professional chef and I really, really butchered that butchering job, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Can't wait. Now we have 16 beautiful pieces of chicken that we're gonna fry up later. And in the meantime, I'm going to throw this in my, in my stock bag. This is going to make delicious stock. Delicious, sumptuous, salty. Slimy too. Now I have washed my hands and very sanitary. Well, 
at least what you can see. I'm going to separate out my 40 cloves of garlic. That's many, many bulbs of garlic here. I'm going to be a stickler for following directions this time. And I'm actually going to use 40 cloves of garlic. Ooh. I'm going to separate these out, but in the meantime, I'm going to put a small pot of boiling water on. And once I get these all separated, I'm gonna drop them in the boiling water for about 60 seconds, and then they're gonna peel really easily. Let's get started. Smells so good. Mmm. Hey, Drac, you're not coming over tonight. Mm -mm -mm. Aha! Woo wee! We did it. 40 cloves, BB. One clove of garlic. Ah, ah, ah. Two clove of garlic. Ah, ah, ah. Three clove. You get the picture. Discard. Mulch. Compost. I'm worried Petrified Tries is just going to turn into Petrified uh, doing offensive accents. What do I do? There it is, my lovelies. 40-ish cloves of garlic. Uh, it's definitely a little bit more because some of those little cloves were a little twinky and I like it big. And you too, you've survived another day. Godspeed, I wish you well. Okay, I teased this wig to look like a garlic clove and it's teasing me right back. Am I a pretty clove? I had to clean because I cannot abide by a dirty workstation. I see you. Now I'm just waiting on my uh, pot of water to boil. Boil, boil. Man, you put great cheese on my chest right now. I'm a proud Polish woman. How dare you judge me? Boil faster. Oh, come on. You don't want to wait anymore. I just wanted to be boiling. I should have turned it on sooner. How do I stay beautiful? I keep myself hydrated all day. I get nine and a half hours of sleep every night. I sold my soul to share. Mm. Hi, kitty. What's up, bud? Oh, it's a good stretch. <laughs> what are these shenanigans? We have a boil. Let's do it. We're gonna dump these garlic cloves in here for 60 seconds and then take them out and peel them. Ding, ding, ding. Let's fish out these cloves. Ooh, actually, that may have worked. Ooh, and it smells really nice, too. Oh. Oh, my. Fragrant. So I'm going to peel all of these, but before I do, I'm going to turn this burner off. Discard. I'm going to take my stock pot and get it heating up. Medium high heat, according to Ina. Let's peel. Ooh. It just slides right off. Miss Garden, I said this, but a little just the tip for you. Just the tip. Buy pre shelled garlic cloves. It's really good garlic. Honestly, am I ever gonna be done with this? Patience is a virtue. I'm unfamiliar. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay, that is done. Wow, okay. It was like a garlic clove shooting range in here. But we have 40-ish, even a little bit more cloves of garlic. Uh, as Miss Garden says, set it aside happily. All right, let's do the chicken now. So I have my chicken here. Uh, I've cleaned it off and dried it. And what I'm gonna do is liberally season it with salt and pepper. Just gonna put a bunch in here, bunch in here. Oh, a little just a tip for you. Just the tip. Use one hand to toss the chicken and the other one to season. Otherwise, you're gonna cross contaminate, girl. You don't want no E. coli, no salmonella. She's great, by the way. Love her. Peppa. Next, we're going to brown the chicken. So I've preheated my pot here. I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of olive oil, two to be exact, and a tablespoon of butter, unsalted. 
Now we're gonna brown the chicken in batches uh, for about three to five minutes per side. Put it fat side down. Hello, I'm a wing. Hmm. In of wood more. How about more wood in? Speaking of thighs, breasts, wings. The longer I stand in front of the seat, the frizzier my hair is gonna get. So just accept it. I have. Okay, we're doing about three to five minutes per side and it's getting nice and brown. Give it a turn. The other side. Ooh, that looks great. Ooh. Oh, it popped. You know, I've done a lot of things in drag, but get chicken fat in my hair. That's a new one. Come on, girl. Pull it together. I can tell you already, it's a very pleasant aroma. Did you know that when Ina Garten was working in Washington, D.C., she had one of the highest security clearance levels in the nuclear energy department? That's crazy. I just want to cook this recipe. I just want to cook this recipe. Think of this theme song. Extra fried fries. Not quite right. These are getting nice and brown on both sides. Beautiful. I'm gonna set these on this platter here and start the next batch. In they go. Remember, skin side down. Ima says use tongs instead of piercing it with a fork because when you pierce it with a fork, all those juices release. Mother. Tick tock, 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 tick tock. Five minutes. Let's give them a turn. Getting licked by this oil and I'm pretty pissed off about it. You know what? It's mother hot. Why anyone would want to get in drag and cook in a hot kitchen, I don't know. That is the last of the chicken. Pile it on this plate. Please don't fall. Now, garlic, 40 cloves. Lower the heat to medium. And dump those in there. Ooh, stir them around for five to 10 minutes till they get evenly browned. We're having chicken, not cat. Not kitty cat. Mmm. Two is getting nice and brown. And crusty. And tasty. See all these goodies on the bottom? We gonna deglaze that soon. Make sure you turn them a lot. Keep them moving. You don't want it to burn. Or maybe you do. I don't care. It's your prerogative. Suits me just fine. Next up on the ingredient list, white wine. With a lovely Chardonnay, a buttery Chardonnay. And uh, I'm a lazy bitch, so uh, we're using a rabbit. Do you see that? Do you see how fast and easy that was? Cup and a half. Glug, glug, glug. Warm white wine. Lovely. Mmm, good though. And I'm also. What the f is that? Oh, <laughs> broccolini. You'll see in a minute. So I'm also going to get about a tablespoon worth of thyme leaves. There's maybe nothing I hate more than stripping thyme off the stem. Why can't you be more like your sister Rosemary? She never disappoints. She makes things so easy for us. That is more than enough. This garlic is looking beautiful and nice and brown. So we're going to add two tablespoons of cognac. Girl loves cooking with cognac. Woo, sizzle. And also, 
that cup and a half of white wine. Oh, it smells so good already. We're just gonna scrape the bottom of that pan. Ooh, look at all the crispy bits coming off, giving us a nice little sauce. We love her. Okay. Shh. We are going to bring this to a boil again. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Meow. Meow. Okay, she's up to a boil. We're gonna add our chicken back in. Okay, that's a full pot of chicken. Now, you see this juice on the more wood in plate? That goes in too. We are gonna sprinkle these thyme leaves right on top. Reduce the heat to the lowest setting and pop a lid on it for 30 minutes. And we'll be right back. Don't go away. Oh, hi, welcome back. So our chicken has been simmering for about 25 minutes on low heat, uh, which means it's almost ready. But uh, we have a few more steps and we can't just eat the chicken by itself. I mean, I have been known to debone a chicken by myself. However, we are healthy ladies and we want fiber. So, we're gonna make another quick recipe of Ida Gardens and that is the roasted broccolini. Let's get started. So I have three bunches of broccolini here. Or should I say, broccolini. She's back. I'm just gonna spread them out here. Ida says put this on two pans, but uh, guess what girl? I ain't got time for that. Ooh, they even got little flowers on them. How cute is that? Okay. This is super, super easy. I preheated the oven to 375 degrees. Ina Garden calls for good olive oil. Mine's from Walmart. It's very good. Matter of fact, it's great value. Just go ahead and drizzle that broccolini. You know, roast it up. Nice touch of salt. And some cracked black pepper. Standards. Just the tip Just from the Ina tip. Garden herself. Clean hands are a cook's best tool. Even though sometimes I like it dirty. You don't know if I wash my hands, do you? Since I am doing this on one pan, I am gonna spread it out a little bit. Just so they roast nice and evenly. Just give it a touch more. And you know what, what the hell? Why not just to sprinkle more on top? She going crazy. In the oven for 15 minutes. Broccolini. Our chicken has been cooking for now about half an hour. Let's check it out. Oh, oh, hello. Another just the tip. Just the tip. If you're cooking poultry, you wanna make sure that that poultry reads 165 degrees. That will mean it's cooked and free from any possibility of foodborne illness. Let's give this a check. 172, gorgeous. Let's get this chicken out onto this platter. Can you imagine a fingernail? This. We're gonna put some tin foil on that so it stays warm, and then we're gonna move on to the sauce. We're bringing this back up to a boil, and I'm gonna take a half cup of this beautiful sauce. How do we get the garlic out? Fish those garlic cloves out. So we're going to add to this two tablespoons of flour. This is going to thicken our sauce. Grab a whisk. I like this thing. It's cool, it looks like an ear. Whisk it up. No clumps. Ooh, there's a clump in there. I will not rest. I'm gonna whisk it back into the sauce. Another just the tip for just you, I would tip. recommend using a wire whisk in a ceramic pot, but I don't have anything else, so I'm just gonna be really careful not to scratch the bottom of my pot. Because I love this bitch and I don't want to hurt her. Nice and mixed in. Y'all, this hair is like the bride of Frankenstein. I'm telling you, I've had to fix it like three times. Another tablespoon of cognac. Oh, oops, it spilled. And two tablespoons of heavy cream. And we're gonna boil it for about three minutes. That sauce is so beautifully thickened. Look at thick. <laughs> this is the moment. Pour it over our chicken. No glove, no love. 
right over the top. Oh my god. Oh, I feel like I'm in the sauna. And I believe our broccolini is ready. That looks so delicious. Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> Sauce! And big, beautiful garlic cloves. Isn't that the point? Lovely pieces of broccolini. Ooh, that's so nice and crisp. All right, let's give this a go. Ina Garten, how is your chicken with 40 cloves of garlic? Definitely want a garlic clove with that. That's good. The garlic is so sweet and tender, it's not too sharp at all. The wine and the cognac in there is out of control. I know I make a lot of recipes with alcohol in it, but there's a reason. Let's try this broccoli. Hmm. <laughs> oh, tender, crispy, airy. Oh my gosh. It's almost as good as the chicken. Mm. How bad could that be? Oh, Jeffrey! This recipe took a little time, and admittedly, peeling the garlic cloves was very annoying, but it is really delicious and pretty easy. I give this one two tits up. Thank you, Ina Garten, for teaching me how to cook, and in case you're watching this, please don't judge me how I butcher a chicken. I will practice, and I promise I will get better. So much for watching this episode of Petrified Tries, where Petrified tried Ina Garten's chicken with 40 cloves of garlic and roasted broccolini and lived to tell the tale. If you don't mind me, I'm just gonna pop off my corset and uh, enjoy. Bye. Bye. Go. Video's done. I love you. Ta-ta. Now get out of my house. <laughs>